What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to give you guys a feedback download to my Tinker's Construct that I have been recreating from PC to Bedrock Edition. Before I actually get into this video, guys, it is not done. You cannot play it in survival. Well, you can, but there's a lot of stuff still missing. The reason for this download is for you guys to kind of help me... Um, Fix some stuff that I might have missed. Give me some feedback on what I'm doing, uh, maybe what I can change. Some things that I might not have added or that you guys think I should add. And some things that uh, I may have forgotten to put in here. Because there's some recipes, some stuff that I might have missed a step on. Maybe something's working and something else isn't working. Like in the casting system, some crafting recipes, something like that. That's what this download is for, guys. It's to help me finish and complete Tinker's Construct. Uh, it's almost done. There's a couple of things that I still need to add, like some blocks, some shurikens, some hammers, new tools, and a couple of other little things like that. And I'm going to fix a lot of the main issues with most of the bugs that you guys are going to get in this download. Uh, I do have Hex Charizard, which is Legacy, uh, the creator of Legacy's Tinkers, or Tinkers Legacy. Um, it's like a similar add-on, but for Bedrock, it's its own little mod pack. And I have a couple of other people that are also going to be helping me as well, uh, like Machine Builder's uh, tool that will help me actually do the slime generations and get more entities and stuff like that. Uh, but if you want to download it, you want to check it out, you can download it. Also playing creative. I wouldn't put it in your survival world or anything like that because, like I said, it's just not fully done. Um, you can go into creative and you can get most of the blocks, most of the stuff like this. You can put it in survival, see how everything's working, kind of give it a test. Uh, you can't really play it in survival all the way, guys, because it's not going to work. And I'm going to show you in steps when we get to the casting uh, basin and stuff because I didn't add those yet. I will be adding them and I'm going to tell you about how I'm going to add them. But the first thing is first is you're going to need to get some paper and sticks. I know. I know. Ever since I started the Tinker's Construct videos, you guys have been telling me not to use the sticks in the paper to make the pattern. But I still haven't changed it. You do need sticks. You do need paper. You put one of each inside of a crafting table. It doesn't matter where. You just put them in there and you get yourself a pattern you can get yourself a pattern once you have a pattern here you could then use a plank to get yourself a table so let me just put these in here so you'll put those anywhere it doesn't matter where you get yourself a table uh, and then you could take the crafting table itself throw it down and throw the table on top of it oops throw the table on top of the crafting table if I could do it, like so, and boom, and crouch, and it will spawn this little table here, which when you crouch, it will give you patterns. Yes, it will be endless, so uh, remember that, guys. Uh, if you want it to, you can still craft these. I do have the crafting recipes. If you guys want to go back and watch my very first Tinker's Construct video and get the crafting recipes for each pattern. Like I said, this is just what I have so far. There's kind of both versions inside of this download that you'll be able to get and play with. But we have the patterns and stuff, and I think that's pretty much it. Okay, uh, you'll get all the patterns, and you can come over here. Let's skip this base in part, but you will be able to... Let's skip that part. Uh, basically, you need to find sand, clay, and uh, gravel. Once you get all three of these ingredients, you will get grout. You'll need to get yourself some coal. You can, with this mod, you can craft stone and iron like normal. Uh, so you could get like iron ore and you can, you know, kind of do your own thing. But you can't craft iron or gold or diamond tools, swords, or anything like that. You have to smelt it using this smeltery thing. Which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but, and then you have to use the Tinker's versions. But you could get this, and once you put them in here, let me get this back. Put that there. Uh, here we go. And it will make a thing called this seared material, and then you can get this sheared brick here. Uh, but when this smelts down, you'll get this, and you put it in a crafting table and all slots to build this block here. And this is how you would build this uh, little smeltery here. It doesn't matter where this dispenser is or, you know, you can have it this way, this way, or this way. It doesn't matter. But you do need to have it by a 3x3. Three three. 
and the bottom block also needs to be um, sheared brick as well so it needs to be a three sheared brick like so down right there with three on each side three high with a armor stand and a hopper in the middle for it to work then after that you can then get the iron gold or diamond place it here and crouch next to it and it will spawn your um okay is it in there now i have no clue get the diamond crouch it should have waited there i don't know where it went guys okay there it is okay so i need to fix the iron uh but you do get the liquid diamond here or you know you'll, you should get all of them i don't know maybe it burned in the lava because i didn't you you honestly should put glass I, I should say that in this video real quick uh put glass uh kind of like in the middle sections i guess like so let's put some iron okay so it just breaks like right here wow okay so yeah okay way well, anyway we move on so once you have your liquids you need to get a lava bucket uh let's give myself a lava bucket a crafting table so you'll throw that up there lava with this you'll get molten iron so there we have molten iron uh and to get the whole purpose of this mod guys time set day oof okay so the whole purpose of this is to double your iron ore and gold ore and diamond ore you, you like get more by doing this which is pretty neat um i know it might not seem like it but you do so you still will be able to get a iron block because you can mine you could still get stone and you could still mine iron ore and then you could still use it in a furnace to smelt down and by the way you could still put everything in a furnace like this iron you could still put it in a furnace and it will smelt it down so you could still do it the old-fashioned way and that's how you need to do for this you need to get a pattern and you need to get an iron block the old-fashioned way to get a casting basin once you get a casting basin you also need to craft a cauldron throw the basin on top or inside and crouch and yeah that's supposed to break uh you will get yourself a casting basin mob which then you can use these molten buckets to boom get yourself a iron block of iron so one liquid and one bucket of lava will give you nine iron nine diamond nine gold so you so you double everything so you get so much more using the casting basin and then once you get the casting basin you can create casts which this is how you create casts so you put a gold block and then you put a pattern you get a cast and you need to put a cast with any of these let me just grab uh Oh, I have it in my inventory. Okay. So, like, this is where it stopped, guys. So, you... Oh, wait. Let me get the pickaxe head. Okay, so I didn't finish all of this part. This is where I know that I'm still working on some of this. Uh, so, you have the pick pattern, and you have the cast. You create a cast pickaxe. Um, it's just an item. It doesn't do anything. Currently, not yet. I'm going to make it when you throw this item and you crouch, it will spawn this thing here, which is a casting entity. And then once you use your lava, place it in here. Let's get lava and let's place our deal, get the molten. Okay, and once you made blocks, you could also make this molten again and you could come and pour it onto this little paste and cast bin here and there we go we have an iron pick head and then you could start to finally craft really cool stuff um and you could go into creative like i said because i'm not fully done let me get a couple of them get another lava um uh, let's go here and let's scroll down let me find this uh let's get ourselves a rod there we go and let's come over here Give myself some of these diamonds. Let's give ourselves this. 
and this let's get this let's put that in there actually no I just need that and let's place this here and boom now I have a rod now I can do I need paper binding oof uh, so you'll need to get the paper binding and then you need to get I already have paper sticks let's put the paper binding with paper let's get one of those let's go back in here put the paper binding the diamond rod and the iron pickaxe head to create a iron pickaxe with the diamond mod boom and then when you hold it it doesn't really I mean it works but it's does it work like let me just kind of show you so it's supposed to whenever you do it I haven't finished like I said guys it's gonna be able to break all these blocks when you're holding it and stuff but it does you know I have the textures and stuff most of it's working and that's how you would come about making these same with regular so if you made like sticks um, you get sticks like normal and you need to craft the head here like a diamond head using this and then you put it inside the crafting table so you need the sticks and the paper binding and the iron pickaxe head to give you a vanilla pickaxe head that's how that works so there's a lot of a lot of stuff I know it's a little confusing guys but like I said it's just a download um, for feedback if you guys want to look at the files go around play with stuff let me know what you guys want me to try and change uh, how you guys are liking the mod playing creative and survival kinda like give yourself a little room to understand the mod because yeah it's not like done or anything guys I know so I don't want like you guys to be like all hateful like oh, I can't even play in survival I, I just that's not what the that's not what this download is for it's it's for like to play with it but not in survival when it's done you'll be able to play in survival for the most part I have most of it I'm gonna continue to make it I have a lot of people helping me but I wanted you guys to be able to play with it and kind of get an example of what I'm doing and that way you could see firsthand on how it's working and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know if you're excited for the finishing product of Tinker's Construct. I'm sorry that I don't have more for you guys to play with, uh, especially for survival purposes. But I'm doing my best, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm Dick on Black Rose, and I'm out.